Okay, so next problem. So a $10,000 par value, a uh, 10-year bond, 8% annual coupons at a premium to yield an effective rate of 6%. Calculate the interest portion of the seventh coupon. Okay, well, the first thing that I would do is that I assume that the par value will be completely paid out by the end of 10 years. The other thing is that we need to do 10,000 times 8% to find out that we have to pay an 800 annual coupon as well. So, uh, it is brought at a premium to yield an annual effective rate of 6% to find the interest portion of the seventh coupon. Okay, so the rule in uh, finding the interest portion at any time value is that we would have to always find the uh, outstanding balance or value of the uh, bond uh, the at the time prior to the uh time that this question is looking for. So that is why we need to find the outstanding balance at time six at first. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take uh, 10,000 that needs to be paid out. And then we're gonna multiply that by Um, v to the 4 because there are 4 years 1, 2, 3, 4 to times 6 we need to discount it back to 6 and then we're going to add the coupon value of 800 also discount it back to four years at 6%. And there you have it, we have the bond pricing formula. So we're able to find the price of the bond at time six. So we're gonna go ahead and use the TVM calculator. We're gonna put 800 as the payment, uh, four as the number of years, six as the interest rate, 10,000 as the future value, and we compute the present value to find out that the price of the bond at time six is 10,693. So once we're able to find the price of a bond at time six a year prior, we're able to find the inch, only the interest portion of the seventh coupon by multiplying this value by the effective rate of uh, 0.06 by one year. And what we are able to get, let's do 10693.02 times 0 0.06 and we get uh, 641.58, which is closest to answer B.